Brad, please, bro, next time, make my alkaline water room temperature. I'm from Florida. I ain't with this cold shit. It's cold as fuck outside. The, the, the least you can do. Room temperature, alkaline water. Please and thank you, Brad. That's the, that's the camera guy. We rolling? Oh, we, we're actually recording? We're not starting over this time? Fuck. Uh, well, well, well. If it isn't MGC. What to do is your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful matrix. All right, so shout out to uh, Brad. He gave me some extra fucking cold ass alkaline water this morning. And yeah, nah, I'm not with that extra cold shit. But yeah, real quick, man. It's your boy Moody Star, and I am going to uh, give you an update real quick. Uh, what's going on this week? Last week was pretty intense, you feel me, energy-wise, you know what I'm saying? This week, uh, I actually have to, like, check the the forecast of, uh, you know what I'm saying, what, where the planet is at right now and shit like that. But from a spiritual standpoint, I actually feel like this is going to be a very, very successful week for a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? So now's the time to... Uh, take advantage of what you got going on as far as like you manifesting, you getting money, you uh, getting to your goals. Uh, I think a new semester started this this uh, just now, this week and stuff. So if you're in college, uh, you go into your classes, let's knock that shit out, bro. Let's do what we have to do. The main thing that we all always have to do is refocus ourselves. And refocusing ourselves is super powerful, bro, because... Uh, a lot of the times when we are doing what we doing what we have to do and you know sometimes we get like what we want and what we need mixed mixed together you feel me we may need to kind of like take a step back from the matrix while we're in the matrix meaning like you should be no relationships you should be thinking about how and if you do have relationships it should be kind of secondary like if you don't have your life together there's no point of even trying to pursue a, a relationship you feel me and that's a lot of th that's a that's a thing that a lot of uh, women have to realize when guys are trying to get their life together. Uh, you can't be the best version. I mean, you cannot you cannot be with someone or try to get into a relationship. Um, like I said, don't stop me. I mean, don't stop me. Don't let me stop you from being in a relationship. But understand, it's not if you're young and college type shit. It's really not going to work out if you don't have your shit together. You see what I'm saying? Uh, genuine love. Um, that's rare to find. And if you do experience genuine love, then, you know, definitely take advantage and elevate with that. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of the times we always run into shit thinking that we're ready and we're really not, you know? So that's why I say, you know, it's always good to refocus. If you say that you're going to go such and such amount of times without uh, talking to a female or, you know, trying to find a mate and stuff, like stand on that. But you usually... When you say that, when you project that energy out there, for some reason, you become more of a valuable uh, person to be with, actually, because you have refocused yourself. You feel me? You got your room temperature, alkaline water. It's not cold like the one that I had this morning. Thank you, Brad. But like at the end of the day, like you're still even kill. You're controlling your, your energy. You're controlling your temperature, room temperature. You see what I'm saying? But um, refocusing is super important, bro. Just... Anytime when you are, whether it's like, you know, high streak, you feel me? Shout out to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Hold on to your energy. You feel me? Day 177, a day, day fucking two. You feel me? Shout out to you. When you are actively holding yourself accountable and actively uh, um, keeping in check your lower self, like this, this brings a lot of attraction, bro. Believe it or not, like this life force energy I know a lot of people be like, man, you just be making shit up, talking about life force energy. Oh, uh, you walk around with that loud pack. No, you are literally walking around like that loud pack. Your energy is speaking before you even say a fucking word. It happens every single time. The, the, the best part about this is that when you are dealing, when you're in a situation, you'll learn, you'll know and kind of learn how to play it the right way not play it safe but play the game like how it's supposed to be played this is sad but what i'm about to say is kind of true 
and me and my boy was just talking about this last night. And he said, let's say, you know, you're doing your thing, you meet a female, and in your mind, yeah, like, yeah, she's the one. Like, she is going to be my wife. Like, nah, that one is going to be my wife, right? And everything is cool. But at the end of the day, at the same time, it's like, you can't act like, oh, yeah, she's the wifey. You can't show her. You can't, you can't like, apply pressure as, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're like, oh, yeah, I want you to be my girl. I want you to be my wife. You can't act like that. Even though she's perfect, even though she likes you, you like her or whatever, you still have to play as if she's just like every other female, bro. It's sad, but it's true. Because if you show your hands too soon, it's going to fuck up. F for me, at least, it's, it, it'll fuck up the perception of a, um, the perception the female has of you. You know, now she's thinking like, why are you so needy? Why do you want a relationship all of a sudden? I don't know if I want a relationship. But but she are perfect together. This is why you never, as a man, you never say, oh, you never beg for a relationship. I was talking about that in my video yesterday. And you never like try to pursue the, like, you never try to put your all into this one female. You can chase a little bit. See, here's the thing, bro. They be like, oh, don't chase women at all. Let them come to you. Attraction, X, Y, Z. That's that's only one aspect of dating. Bro, at, at, at the end of the day, dude, you're still a guy. You, you're still a go-getter, my guy. So at some point in time, if you're talking to a female and you know this is the, the female that you want to court, like, yeah, you may have to do a little bit of tasting just to be like, you know, like showing them like, yeah, I appreciate you. I like you, X, Y, Z. Like, yeah, I got my stuff going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking with you. But what we're not going to do is put our all into it. And a lot of guys, once they get with a beautiful, and especially if they're beautiful, if they're super beautiful, if, a, if you ever attract a female who's super beautiful and you are weak emotionally and you have insecurities, be prepared for that relationship not to last that long. And she's and she won't be the reason why it ends. It's going to be you because you don't know how to control your emotions, you don't, you don't know how to control the fact that like, okay, you may have some insecurities. Nigga, you probably even, you probably haven't even tried semen retention. You feel me? To discipline yourself. You see what I'm saying? You discipline yourself. You, you start to vibrate higher. You get everything. You get the finer things in life. Once you get the, the fine ass female, the beautiful female. Oh, even if, she, even if she doesn't have quote unquote baggage, she's still coming with baggage because she's fine as fuck. Everybody gonna be trying to talk to her every single day. And if you don't, if you don't have no type of emotional intelligence, if you got trust issues, abandonment issues, you should not be with a, an attractive woman. Guys, this, there's statistic. I don't know how true this is, but the, it's statistically proven that there's more guys that have the, um, narcissistic character than women. Like basically there's more cases with men who have narcissistic traits or become narcissists. And a lot of narcissists are weak emotionally. They don't have no emotional intelligence at all. You feel me? And this is how everything goes hand in hand. This is how I could drop a video every single day talking about controlling one of the most powerful energies that you have within your body, bro, which is the sexual energy. You know what I'm saying? Understanding like where you're putting your energy at. Understanding, uh, like, kind of like what you're attaching your aura to when you're talking to a female. She could be high vibrational, perfect, virgin, never had sex, none of that. She's still coming with some shit. You want to know why? Because the rest of the world sees her. The rest of the world notices her. The rest of the world knows that that's a beautiful ass virgin. They're gonna try everything in the book. They don't give a fuck if they if if she has a boyfriend or not, has a, a husband or not, and you have to live with that. Now, if you don't want to live with that, if you want to get you a five or six, you know what I'm saying, with without too much, you know what I'm saying, attention and shit, you go ahead and do that too. Listen, man, when it comes to guys, I know for a fact, it don't take much to, to, uh, to, to, to uh, when I say it don't take much for a female to do some shit or she can look like a five or a six or a seven and guys will still go for it and love her to death. I ain't gonna hold you. Them sixes and sevens, they gonna hold you down. Not saying that the nines and tens won't, but the nines and tens, they come up with extra stuff. So you have to emotionally be able to 
handle that. Prepare, prepare for that. Prepare for holding your hands, lady, holding your hands, lady, holding your lady's hand in public and a motherfucker whistle at her and shit. And what you going to do? You got to be, you got to be ready for that. That's what comes with the territory. You cannot be mad at her, bro. You know what I'm saying? But going back to what I was saying, though, before you even decide to get into a relationship, this is why I say it's very important to control your sexual energy. You know, go on monk mode, go 30 days of not uh, busting, and you'll be surprised at how you, how you will change, how you will feel, how you will feel refocused. You know what I'm saying? You're not focused on like, damn, I don't know if I want to chill with this chick, if I want to vibe with this chick. If you're already talking to a chick, that's cool. You can still talk to a chick, but understand that you have to kind of like um, put yourself first, not to be selfish, but to, but to know that like, okay, you're putting yourself first so you can provide, period. You're a man. You have to provide. I don't give a damn if it's like, oh, no, nah, toxic women. and all. No, you have to provide. I don't give a fuck. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter what women are doing or anybody else is doing. You're the man. You're the man of the house. You have to build this fucking house. Ain't nobody else going to do it. Ain't nobody else going to go out in the rain and do some shit and work in the goddamn um, lightning and shit. No, women not going to do that. You are. OK, so you got to take responsibility for Nigga, the, 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 the suit that you have. You know what I'm saying? Embrace this suit, bro. Embrace being a man and not in no toxic masculinity way type way. You feel me? It's niggas out there that be doing too much. And the only reason why they do too much is because they don't have emotional intelligence. You feel me? Work on that emotional intelligence. Control that energy. And watch you, and watch you go from a narcissist to a high vibrational, decent man. Okay, so refocus, bro. Refocus, do what you got to do. It's easy, dog. If you don't overthink this shit, it becomes very easy, bro. Don't, like, you have to, you have to kind of, like, clear out your spirit, bro. And a lot of low vibrational activities may come with, um, make, a lot of low vibrational activities you may have to, like, stop. You may have to cut out. You feel me? But yeah, without saying too much, man, it's been your boy Moody Star. Make sure you like, share, comment down below, drop a bag on the cash up to support the team. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Shout out to Brad. You know what I'm saying? Do, do you have my do you have my uh room temperature this time? I just leave it on the counter, bro. Do, do, no. MGT does not want to meet you. Not not been a fuck up. But anyway, for the most part, bro, I love you guys. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Stay focused. Have a wonderful day. Let's turn up. Let's raise our vibrations. Let's raise other people's vibrations. If you don't want to raise other people's vibrations, then fuck it. You feel me? Raise your own. Do what you got to do. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Peace.